やれやれせいや姉貴のタバコ嫌いにも参ったもんだなすまんな夕べからカリカリしとるんや I'm getting it. I'm already getting a little bit nauseous by the, you know, shakiness of what's going on with the boat. <laughs> Can you send it at the Grinka? Rudolph and Hideyoshi went out onto the deck and took out some cigarettes. Ava had always hated the smell of cigarettes, but when she was in a bad mood, she got even more oversensitive. The two of them had attempted to spend some relaxed time smoking until they made it to the island, but they had gotten yelled at and chased out onto the deck. Hideyoshi tried to use his lighter, but it didn't go well with all the strong winds on the deck. Rudolph took out a zippo with a stylus gesture and let Hideyoshi borrow the flame. Here we are with the zippo again, e r i k i s h i ヒデヨシ兄さんはいつ頃からタバコ戦後すぐや最初はタバコを転がしとってな自分の売り物に手をつけてしまったわけや<笑>じゃあ姉貴と会った時にはもう吸ってたわけだ姉貴には随分やめろやめろと言われたでしょうわしが聞く耳持たんもんだからあれももうすっかり諦めよったなハハハハやはり男は強情でなくてはあかんな Hideyoshi laughed heartily but Rudolph chuckled After being scolded by Ava and told to smoke outside they had dejectedly fled to the deck together There was almost no doubt he was under her thumb Ooh, we're getting close to the Rokijima. Kudan, so come on, the tanki, and I, yeah. Yeah, Kudan, a motto, umana, otonashi, onna, and I, eh? My toshi, my toshi, Kono Hini Naruto, Hitonga, Kari, or yeah. So, and this, eh? What did I got you, Shir, Mukashi, Karano, and Eki, so no more, and me, Masgan? そうや後ろ宮家のエヴァに戻るんやでもそれはわしと一緒のエヴァとは違うんやまあカリカリする気持ちもわかります今回の親族会議は面倒だそうやなあのクラウス兄さんから金を脅し取ろうっちゅう計画や親族会議なんて名ばかりのこれはただの兄弟喧嘩やサンバーグ・リリー With the family conference ahead of them the three siblings excluding k l o s had made a secret contract Each of them had a pressing situation to deal with and urgently needed a lot of money and they needed it now And the only one who could help them was Klaus, who spoke for the Ushiamiya family head since Kenzo was shut up in his study. They had long felt that Klaus had started taking advantage of Kenzo's loss of interest in his own wealth, and was embezzling that wealth for his own use. When everything had been going well for the siblings, even though they had found it detestable, They had pretended not to notice. But now that they needed money, they couldn't just quietly accept that. Eva had called Rudolph and Rosa into an alliance, and they were planning to exploit that knowledge in order to draw money out of class. Washi mo, so s t e d u d o l f k u m o s h a c h o y a Shai no s e k a s o s e o t u r m i a ローザも社長ですよま、道楽ですねそうやな、失礼つまり、わしらは誰もが背負うものを持っとるっちゅうことや
俺もガンブ連中の前で単価を切った以上は土下座しても泥をすすってでも金を引っ張ってこなきゃならないお互い様やわしもわしを信じてついてきてくれた社員たちを裏切れそれこそクラウス兄さんの組根っこをひっつかんででも金を引っ張り出さんといかんのや。I'm really liking seeing the, the adult's point of view now. Like, if this chapter's gonna be from the adult's point of view, this is gonna be a fucking good one. I freaking. You know what? I'm gonna be honest here. I've always wanted to see more of this storyline with the siblings more than anything else so far in the story. Like, I like b a l l a r d the cousin's story. I also like the servant's story. But this is the one story that I wanted to hear the most about. I don't know why, but I just find this part of Umineko the most interesting. So, if we're gonna follow the adults in this episode three, this is gonna be a fucking good one. Aniki was from the beginning, and he was a good one. 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 He was a エヴァはクラウス兄さんとは昔から仲が悪かったんか本人話しませんかそりゃもう盛大に<笑>昔の話は聞いても話してくれんのや<笑>思い出したい話がないんやろな Okay, this is just cursed. <laughs> of all the sprites, I think one of the most cursed ones is Rudolph in this handout like this. Any sprite with his handout like this, that's just cursed. <laughs> I'm going to be a good person. I'm going to be a 兄貴はわざわざそれを誇示して兄貴を追い詰めていたアホやなあなんでそない敵返しむき出しで追い詰めるんやそういうのは要領がいいとは言わん<笑>確かに兄貴は女に生まれたことを悔やんでた男というだけの理由で当主を継ぐことが決まっている兄貴が多分許せなかったんだだから事あるごとに自分の方が優秀であると親父に誇示していたっけお父さんは古いタイプの人や男女には差別的な価値観を持っとった自己顕示の強いエヴァは少々嫌われてたんとちゃうか Steady pace. o n の学力は紅茶の砂糖にも似ていると思わないかねないのも味気ないが、過ぎれば紅茶の味わいを大いに損なう。Since you can still drink black tea without sugar, it was exactly the same as saying that study was unnecessary for a woman. Oh, oh. <sighs> well, it is apparent that Klaus and Kinzo are pretty misogynistic, so it definitely makes sense that these are lies, but god damn it, I did not want to say that. Those infuriating words were ones that my older brother had abused me with when I had been in despair, wanting to go to college, but denied my father. This is Ava! We're reading from Ava's point of view! Oh, this is interesting! Alright. I have protested that advancing to college was essential if I was to acquire the education and a class befitting the eldest daughter of the Ushemia family. 
but the replies I received from father and my brother were, in summary, exactly the same. How conceited for a woman. Since the time I was born into the Ushiamiya family, I hadn't taken that name lightly even once. And furthermore, nor had I ever taken lightly father's name, Ushiamiya Kenzo. It was an old family with a long history, but it had lost all its wealth and its business in the Great Kanto Earthquake, and almost sank for a time. Then father, with his ingenious talent, had taken control, and revived it to be even greater than it had been before. I hadn't forgotten even once what it meant to be the daughter of that great Ushimiya Kenzo. Therefore, I had always made every effort to become worthy of that name. Class worthy of the Ushimiya family. Schooling, manners, and leadership. Even if I was far from reaching father's level, I deepened my knowledge in economics and finance, and tried to improve myself so that I could help out without it at a- I- 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 I'm gonna reread that line, wow. I deepened my knowledge in economics and finance, and tried to improve myself so that I could help out with that at any time. However, in the end, there never came a time when father acknowledged that. To father, a woman was only meant to support a man, and nothing further, further than that was permissible. I wonder when it was that I understood that. I probably understood ever since I was a young girl. But to truly accept it, I had to wait until I had grown up. Compared to my own efforts, you couldn't have said that Kloss, my, as my older brother by two years, tried at all to become deserving of the Ushia Mia family name. Ever since we were young, my brother kept saying that it was natural that he'd succeed father, just because he was born a man. He kept repeating that, as though it were an absolute gap between us. I couldn't stand it. Even though I always got better grades than my brother. Even though I became class president while he was stuck as vice president of his class. Even so, my brother was considered to be the appropriate person to succeed the Ushimiya family just because he was a man. Of course, you could get away with gender discrimination in those days. No, it was even considered a, vi a virtue in those days. It was a time when women were looked down upon, and it was said that when a woman is born, she is to obey her parents. When she gets married, she is to obey her husband, and when she gets old, she is to obey her children. Just, but because that way of thinking existed, I wanted to overturn it. And certainly, I kept trying to prove that I was the most fit. However, eventually, I realized that all my efforts were doomed from the beginning. We're back to this fucking line! それはどういう意味よ兄さん。男には男にしか勤められないことがあるように、女とて女にしか勤められないことがあるんじゃないかね。Because this is the 1950s and 60s, this is can this can be considered normal for that time since this is like the fucking 50s and 60s but at the same time <laughs> fuck you Klaus <laughs> fuck you Klaus I was actually trying to you know in episode 2 I was trying to give you some benefits of the doubt but no you're you're becoming a lot less likable dude you're becoming a lot less likable because you're being a big asshole <laughs> Kouumi 
そこまでは言わんよ無学な女など話していても疲れるだけだだがあまり頭が良すぎる女はもっと疲れるお前のように自己主張の激しい女では未来の夫もさぞや苦労すると思うのだがね女は結婚して夫の陰にいろとそう言いたいの余計なお世話よお前が親父殿を尊敬していてその娘としてふさわしくありたいと思う気持ちは我が妹ながら見上げたものだよ私にも尊敬できることだ気持ち悪い何が私よこの間まで俺だったくせにもう投手気取りなの投手は私が継ぐことに最初から決まっているにもかかわらずお前は自分も投手になれるかのように錯覚して無駄かつ暴走した努力をしているに過ぎんのだよ暴走した努力ですって私が大学院に進みたいと言い出すのがそんなにもおかしいっていうのああおかしいねお前は確かに栄光ある後宮家の長女だよやがてはその家紋を背負って父にとって最も価値ある相手と婚約することになるだろう I'm actually starting to feel super bad for Ava I'm I feel like now I'm gonna I feel like I'm just gonna have to go ahead and flat out say this now I think I think Ava is not as as bad as I thought she was from from when I first you know got introduced to her because at first she just seemed to be the slightly mean aunt But when she went after Shannon, that's when I started disliking her a little bit, when she went after Shannon. But other than that, I actually have to say that Ava's not that bad of a, char- of a character. And、um, for the Ushiramiya siblings, I feel like I'm going to say this now for the Ushiramiya siblings, Ava and Rudolph are kind of equaling each other out as、um, the better the siblings to me. Though,、um, I think that Ava is slowly going to become the best, best person of the siblings, as is going to be revealed in this episode. Because already from the beginning, I can te- definitely tell that this is definitely going to be some,、uh, a chapter about Ava, this episode. I feel like this is going to be an episode about Ava. And I'm going to say this now. Once we get to see more into Ava, I kind of can start getting to an understanding of her character, while also at the same time, I think I'm going to start liking her. I think I'm actually going to start liking her. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to be、um, rooting for Ava in this chapter because even though in the first two episodes I didn't like her as much, especially for what she had said to Shannon, I feel like right now Ava's slowly becoming a character that I'm slightly liking a little bit more. I'm really intrigued in the storyline. I'm going to say this now. I'm really intrigued in the storyline and I'm going to shut up now after this little ramble. But I feel like I needed to go ahead and state this clear right now on my thoughts on Ava real quick because. Coming from now that it's being slowly revealed, like her backstory is going to be slowly revealed, I'm going to just go ahead and state this right now rather than later that, um, yeah, in this chapter, I'm going to prematurely start rooting for a- Ava. It might be premature for right now because I don't know what's going to happen, but from right here, I feel like Ava is actually not that bad. Of a person, as I first initially thought. So, enough of my rambling. I'm sorry that I went off on a little tangent here, but I felt like I needed to go ahead and say some things about Ava real quick. Dago, so could the motomer are in a Kajona Gakushki of a night. Oto Itawa Yasashi Kimoto Kajino Ryoku, so she Ika no Cho Tatteru Hikaimena Taito. お前にはそれが完全に欠落しているそれは後宮家の令状として果たしてふさわしいことなのかね私は真相の令状のつもりなんかないわよお父様の仕事を手伝ってあげられる最高の人間でありたいと思っただけよならそれは後宮家令状としてふさわしくあるべきではないのかねお前と来たらなんだねいい年をしていまだに男勝りで
家事炊事はおろか男を喜ばせる化粧一つ身につけていないじゃないか最近は喧嘩の稽古までしてると言うじゃないかね失礼な喧嘩じゃないわよ武道は心の修練に最適なのよそれに叱るべき場に出るときは十分女として気を使ってるわよ何が言いたいのよ女は男に仕える奴隷であれとしゃしゃり出るなとそう言いたいわけそれを認めるのはエレガントではないがお前の勘違いを正すには少々毒のある言葉も必要かと思うよだから言い切ろう女は男に仕えるために存在するそして男は女を養うために存在する女の仕事は男の背中を守り家庭を守って子を育てることだそれは本来言葉で気づかされることではないおのずと気づくことだしかしお前はいくつになってもそれを自覚しなかったなだから社会に出る前に兄である私がその誤解を解くのだよ感謝してほしいものだね。そ、それはすべての女への侮辱よ。いや、いいえ。私は自分のことを女だと思ったことなどないし、女だからと甘えたことなど一度もない。私のどこが兄さんに劣っているというの成績も経歴も何もかも私の方が勝っていてただ男である以上の何も持たない兄さんが私の何を見下せるっていうのよ身の程をわきまえているか否かだよ私は次の当主としての心構えを日々養っているそれは将来必ず必要になることだだがお前は違う。とつぎ、後ろ宮の席を失うことが決まっているくせに、見る必要のない幻を見ている。何がそんなに不満なんだ。仮に男に生まれようとも、闘志を継ぐのはお前ではないだろうに。お前は何がそんなにも不満で私に突っかかってくるのか。いつもいつもいつもいつもいつも自分は当初後継ぎだからと私を見下してそのくせ<笑> What's so in s What's so in satisfying? He says A billion grudges Hard feelings Humiliations that I'll never forget cross through the back of my mind. And all of them built up at the same time. Coming out of my throat has nothing more than a shameful moan. Why do you kind of look like Colonel Sanders? <laughs> Why do you kind, of, you kind of look like Colonel Sanders? <laughs> <laughs> He fucking looks like Colonel Sanders. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> that was fucked up. Okay, I can't. I need to get my hand away from the computer for a second. I need to stop laughing. <laughs> you know. You remember the visual novel, the shitty visual novel that KFC made with Colonel Sanders? <laughs> yeah, this is the same guy. <laughs> Colonel Sanders, kids of s h i o m i a confirmed! Otosa! Otosa! Our sibling fights, 
was probably overheard. Father entered with a clearly displeased face. Kraus, Mata Kyodai Genka ka? Omae ni wa naze ni ototo ya imoto tachi wo hiru kanroku ga yadoranu no ka? Nasake nai. Chonan ga kite wa kireru zo. Whoa. <laughs> In a flash, he struck Klaus's face. I prepared myself to be struck in the same way, but I wasn't hit. もう少しありませんお父さんお前に足りぬのは貫禄だけではないまだまだ足りぬ何もかもが未熟だ身も関わらず一人前を気取っておるそれを語るには百年早いことを肝に銘じ剣山に努めよわしをこれ以上息子の
お前に後ろ宮など語らせぬ感動だ感動だおっ<笑>お父さんしっかり落ち着いてください源氏さん水を持ってきてもらえますかはいただいまエヴァ席を外せ本心ではないさ私がなだめておく<笑>感動だ私の言うことが危険だな感動だ<laughs> As father struggled with a fit of heavy coughs, my brother patted his pat back. As if that were naturally his duty. It was so vexing for me then to let him monopolize on that duty. If I approached father carelessly, I would probably be hit again. However, I fearlessly tried to approach father's back. Genji blocked me. Eva, now, you have to go to the house. 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 <笑>なぜに私の息子たちはこうも不敵なのかクラウスは貫禄が足りずエヴァはいつまでたってもじゃじゃ馬だ男らしい男はおらず女らしい女もいない私の育て方がいつどこでどう間違ったのかなぜだ源氏私は何をいつどこでどう間違えたというのか親方様は何もお間違いになってはおりませんクラウス様はたくましいご子息にエヴァ様は麗しいご霊場に成長されました何もお間違いにはなっておりませんえ When Genji is acting the role as a better father than the actual father. <laughs> well, okay, Genji's not a. Okay, Genji's actually a. Genji's actually 10 out of 10, so. Yeah, Genji's 10 out of 10, so. You would expect that he would be a lot better of a person than anyone of the main Ushia Mia family. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna say this now, Genji. You are a 10 out of 10, dude. You, you are, you are actually really good. Are no dokonga? Dokonga uruashi to you no ka? Shikujo dokoro ka otoko no mane wo to bakari. Kando da! Kando da! お父さんそれは私からよくエヴァに言い聞かせたところですエヴァもこれからは心を入れ替えてレディーとして振る舞うと約束してくれましたどうかもう少しの猶予をいただけませんか何がレディーだうわハグルフフフ感動だ感動だ <laughs> Go quickly, and I'll help handle this for you. Klaus gave me a look, telling me that. Well, at least he wasn't trying to kick her out. Still doesn't excuse his misogyny and how, he, how much he was an asshole. Did I take the wrong path? Just like father and my brother had said? They were right. That I, ne that I had never studied how to be a lady. Everything I had learned was because I'd hoped that I could help father someday. Wait. Was that really the case? 
Hadn't I always held a grown sense of rivalry with my brother, with whom I had a bad relationship since? Oh my god, I am not reading. Hadn't I always held a growing sense of rivalry with my brother, with whom I'd had a bad relationship since I was a young girl? And wasn't I just trying to get the better of him by stealing his position as successor to the head? Every time, my brother told me that men should be manly and women should be womanly. I had been tormented by this unreasonable discrimination because of my sex, something I was born with and couldn't do anything about. I had resisted, and had, had endeavored to study until today so that I could prove that I wasn't inferior, even though I was a woman. In that case, wasn't the basis of my love of learning just a boring inferiority complex towards my brother? Father had expected me to be a lady with whom he could go out in public and not be and not be embarrassed. Had I betrayed that expectation and earned grades to intimidate my brother just to clear away that pent-up resentment from my childhood? Distant. Oh, is this young Eva? Is this young Eva? The one who came whispering to me was myself, born in my heart on the day I made that vow. Myself that day's little girl. What? Myself on that day as a little girl. What the wh what is happening? What? That's right. She was my only ally. Is this another Ava? Whenever I was suffering, whenever I felt like I could take no more, she would always quietly appear and take my side. Whenever I found myself with my head in my hands, stumbling over difficult problems, she would always appear and support me. As I had grown and forgotten my time as a girl, I had also begun to forget my conversations with her. Eva on that day, when I had been overcome with sadness, wondering why I was even alive, you appeared inside me and lent me your strength. Is Ava talking to herself, or is this a different Ava? Because if this is a different Ava, that means a lot of things, if there's two Avas. I can't tell if she's talking to herself, or if there's two Avas, but either way, I'm really liking Ava right now. Either way, even if this is a separate Ava, or this is Ava talking to herself, I'm still liking Ava. I'm really, I'm, be I'm beginning to like Ava now. I wanted to make you a flower. In those days, I had really believed that I had no other purpose in life than to be looked down upon by my brother. It's painful just remembering those days. The wound, the tear that split open to my heart. She taught me how to sew up that wound. I would change my anger into effort and improve myself. Become a person more worthy to be the head than Klaus was. And triumph over him by making father accept me. The perfect revenge. I knew more or less that a woman couldn't succeed the head. But 
If I could become so superior that I could overturn that, then surely even Father would select me to be a successor. If that happened, then I could have the greatest, ultimate, most perfect revenge against my brother, who always acted like it was completely natural for him to succeed the head. Even though she has the form of my young self, she is still another me. And she has a sharp tongue. After all, she's me. <sighs> <笑>そこ そうね。怒りはいつも私の原動力だったわ。いつからそれを忘れてしまったのかしら。私を思い出せたならあの魔法の力は再び私たちのもの。マジック。さあ、その怒りを力に変えてもっともっと勉強に励みましょう。きっと
I think this is just for emphasis. The uh, quotation marks for this sheet. This is emphasis. So I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to. But I always like doing this for quotation mark reading. She rejected my timid thoughts. I know why. Because she is me. I know why. お父様は少なくとも今はお女に当主を継がせないと言っている。でもそれすらも所詮はお父様が決めたルールでしかないの。お父様が決めた以上、それをはっきりできるのもお父様。人の気持ちなど浜の政子が尽きるよりはるかに
る本気よ少女時代からの決意を捨てるのは確かにとても悲しいこと私の少女時代そのものであるあなたを裏切るのは私も心苦しいわでもそれが一番現実的なのよ That moment, my body changed, and I was no longer myself from back then. But as I am now, a wife and mother. Yes, this is a dream. Even so, she still possessed the same ambition and desires always, and she argued back, with her expression displaying clear displeasure at this change. You may have stayed in all. そして私も捨てるの捨てるんじゃない私も大人になってあなたと決別する日が来たということよそうねエヴァはもう大人になったわ魔法の使い方さえ忘れてしまった今は一児の母自ら夢を叶える魔法を忘れ去ってその夢を息子に押し付けている自らの人生をお父様やクラウスによってめちゃくちゃにされたくせにあなたも自らの夢を息子に押し付けてめちゃくちゃにしようとしているのそれが大人というものなのジョージはどこに出しても恥ずかしくない自慢の息子よ私には叶えられなかった夢をジョージなら叶えられるかもしれないジェシカなんて成績も貧困も不良じゃないそれに女なのよジェシカさえ辞退してくれればジョージが後継ぎになることだって My heart pained even as I said that My heart pained even as I said it Aren't I just forcing my own regrets onto George? I don't have any right to despair in Jessica And to hit her with the same words that caused me so much suffering is just horrible. I understand. I understand. Wanting to triumph over my brother was nothing more than my personal revenge. I mustn't use George for that. That's why I'm going to be a good one. 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 There really isn't any doubt that he's embezzling <laughs> or doing something on the lines of embezzlement. その夢をごまかさないでだから絶対に叶えられると私を信じて私の魔法を信じて信じたら魔法は力を持つのかしらうん私の魔法はどんな願いも必ず叶えるの<笑> 信じるわ。信じるから、その魔法で奇跡を起こして。そうでなくちゃ、私の心の傷は永久に癒されない。This is interesting. This is interesting. うん。なら、よく聞いて。私の魔法の言葉。そしてそれを理解して。謎が解けたなら。What are the words? There we go, it's the riddle! Behold the sweet fish river running through my beloved home of old. You who seek the gold land. Follow its path downstream in search of the key. As you travel down it. <laughs> oh! Hi, Kiryu. 
そろそろ着くみたいですよ。As her shoulder was trapped,、uh, not trapped, tra- tapped, as her shoulder was tapped by Kyrie, Ava jumped and awoke from her doze. ごめんなさいね。寝ぼけてたわ。驚かせてしまってごめんなさいね。エヴァおばさん、ぐっすりでしたね。Oh, Valor was inside this time. 朝はだいぶ早かったんですかまあね。恥ずかしいところを見せちゃったわ。ごめんなさい。眠れるくらい余裕があるのは大したもんだぜ。Okay, so Jessica was on the boat this time. バートラなんかずっと落ちるーったの、沈むーったの。<笑>まったく退屈しないやつだぜ。We're back to this. う,うるせえな。人間誰しも苦手の一つや二つくらいあるもんだぜ。バイラーとジェスカー went back out. Squabbling merrily. Rudolph also made a face as if, as if saying, Are you alright? しっかりしろよ。親父たちの顔を見れば眠気もすっ飛ぶぜ。せいぜいお互い頑張ろうぜ。そうね。特に今年はしっかりしないとね。だな。お互い。別の話をしてたかかろうぜ。It seemed Maria was already getting excited. She ran circles around Hideyoshi, escaping from Rosa, who was trying to catch her. She's singing about the epitaph, isn't she? By looking at Ava's par- peculiar expression, Hideyoshi realized that it had not been a pleasant awakening and made George go on ahead. Rudolph's family and Rosa's family also went up onto the deck, leaving only Ava and Hideyoshi inside the boat. Ava had a vague expression on her face, as though she still hadn't been able to escape from her daydream. What did you do? You s t t a i ジョージを自分の復讐の道具にしてたんじゃないかしら。Fortitude. 私の兄さんに対する子供じみた敵対心のせいで
あの子の人生を自分のおもちゃにしてしまってはいないかしらああ私はなんてことなんてことをそんなことあらへんジョージはどこに出しても恥ずかしゅうないわしらの自慢の息子や仮にエヴァの思惑が多少混じっとったとしても結果オーライっちゅうもんやないかエヴァはなんも悪うないむしろジョージは厳しくしつけてくれたと感謝しとるくらいやで本当にねえ本当ジョージは私のこと嫌な母さんだと思ってないかしらねえねえねえそんなことただの一度も口にしたことあらへんでエヴァの気由や秀吉様皆様下船なさっておりますよおや何か落とし物ですかお手伝いしましょうかクムサワー had come to check on them when they hadn't come up to the back Eva Hideyoshi not Eva Hideyoshi hid Eva behind his back so that her expression couldn't be seen ああすまんなちょっとわしのネクタイピンがいかれてもうてなもう大丈夫やすぐ行くで外で待っててやそうですか<笑>それでは表でお待ちいたしております From that almost incomprehensible excuse Kumasawa realized that something had come up and disappeared so that she didn't trouble them further. If they stayed here any longer, they would probably make everyone else worry too. So, 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 Hideyoshi knew that it wasn't rare for Eva to be tormented by nightmares, and they would always become more striking on the days leading up to the family conference. Hideyoshi knew that Eva's relationship with Klaus was still so full of antagonism that it could even be called trauma. And that she still couldn't separate herself from how she'd felt as a child. それは夢やわしが一緒にいるこうして手をギャーッと握っとったらそんな夢もどっか行ってしまうで。Man, it seems that everyone who gets married into the Ushiyamiya family is already ten times a better person than the person they marry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but let's be honest here. Natsui, Hideyoshi, and Kiryu, all three of them are a lot better characters and people than the actual four Ushiyamiya children. Their spouses are a lot better than the four. <laughs> no? Hora. Itai wa. Arigato. Mou heiki yo. Orimasho. Ah. Ori yo ka. Minna matase teru de. Ano. Gomen na sa. さっきあなたのタバコの煙のこと怒鳴ってごめんなさい普段ならそんなことで謝らんくせに悪い夢見た後のお前は気をわずいかん気にするなやお前に煙が届いていることを気づかんかったわしが悪いんや
私のこと嫌いになったならんならん<笑>この程度で嫌いなんて言うとったら3日もたんでさあさあたったたった折れるで折れるで<笑>秀吉様デバ様大丈夫ですかお体が優れませんか And this time, go to it. <laughs> go to it, come. It looked like they had kept everyone waiting too long after all. Ava also stood up without grumbling this time. She couldn't keep on forcing her bad mood onto her husband and causing him more trouble. Because that was not something a good wife should do. Daijobu desu ka? Daishou ga kini nararelu yo deshita ra Nanjo sensei o oyubi shimashou ka? Arigato. Chotto hinkezu gimi de ne? Mou daijobu yo. Fujin biyo chiu ya t ya. Kini sen to ite ya. Ha 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 ha. もうそんなの人に言わないでよ恥ずかしいわおおすまんすまんエヴァエルボーヒリヨシーのガッツ By that time her normal expression had returned which allowed ヒリヨシーと relax a little Finally, we're off the boat. <laughs> Thank God we're off the boat. Oh, God. Woo! Alright, I need to clean off my eye for a second. Ooh. Yeah, it seems like out of all recordings, this one has got my eyes all, you know, watered up. From the laughing, not from sadness yet. The bright sunlight outside was almost enough to really make a person go giddy. A small plank was lowered to get off the boat, and Goda was waiting there, smiling and ready to lend them a hand. Dozo, Eva sama. Oteo. Arigato. Rokkenji mae, yo koso irashai mashita. Okari nasa. White shadow. Was that? Was that the little Ava? When she left the boat, it seemed to Ava as though she had heard the voice of her young self saying welcome back. No, it hadn't seemed that way. Someone had said welcome back to her. After becoming a shameless adult, the voice of her young self was distant. 私は何のために生きてるの何をどうすれば私はこの猛獣から解き放たれるというの Hiryoshi heard her talking to herself. He drew Eva close to him by her shoulder, and just by his firmness, he communicated that there was no need to say anything more. Maybe it was because the typhoon was getting closer. The lively cries of the seagulls, which usually greeted them when they arrived, couldn't be heard at all. They're definitely lively, but not pleasant. Uminako no Nakakoni Rondo the Witch in Reasoning. Oh, we're really going ahead in time. It's now two it's two o'clock. My preparations are already complete. Interesting. Anyways, that was the. Ooh! 
All right, I want to see the end of this little um, cutscene, and then I'm gonna begin the next episode. I mean, end this episode. We're getting the kids. All right, we're gonna be following the kids next time in the next episode of Omineko no Nakukori. -ni. Thank you, everybody, for watching this video. Leave a like. Leave a comment. This episode, by the way, was not sponsored by Kentucky Fried Chicken. I must, um, de de declare that right now. Before, um, there's anyone suspecting that I'm being sponsored by, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, this video is not sponsored by Kentucky Fried Chicken. So, why would Kentucky Fried Chicken spon sponsor this channel? I, I, I don't, yeah, I, I don't even understand why they would. <laughs> I mean, um, I'm open to the idea. I'm actually open to the idea, but I have no clue as to why Kentucky Fried Chicken wants me to sponsor them on this channel. So, yeah, um, I'm open to, to the idea of KFC. So, KFC, if any, of you, if any of you executives are watching this video, know that I'm available. <laughs>